Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a random sample in Excel. Um, so here we have a list of uh, agents, for example, they, uh, they are all assigned a case with a case number and we want to uh, make a random sample from this list. Uh, for example, we want to pick three uh, cases at random to inspect, for example, if the work was done correctly. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with Excel formulas. What you can do, you can download the file, which is going to be available right, right below the video. I'm going to put the link for you. This way, you're going to have the full file with all the formulas and you can follow with me. So first way we can do this. Um, we're going to do this like manually. Uh, so we're going to have, uh, we're going to add a new column, which is going to called be called random and in each cell we're going to compute a random value all right so it's going to be between zero and one okay so now if i want to pick three cases at random i just have to do uh, data sort and i'm going to sort by random so it's basically a random sort uh, so here you can see it's not uh, actually uh, sorted. Be why? Because the random value is computed each time you uh, you you modify you, the file. So when we sort it, it's recomputed just after the sort. Uh, but in uh, in any case, we for example, if we need three random cases, we can just take the three uh, random cases at the top here: Mary, Lucas, Anna, and uh, and we have our list. So this is the first way to do this. The problem with that is that it's not, uh, you have to do the manual sort each time and maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to um, uh, to have something that just appears like uh, automatically if, and uh, maybe you just copy paste here the list of agent and cases and you have a list. Okay, so we're going to do that as well with formulas. So for example, if we want three uh, cases, we're going to have one, two, three cases here um, so what we're going to do we're actually going to compute here the top value the top random value and then the second top value and then the third one and since they are all at random it's going to give us three values at random so for that we're going to use we're going to use large, uh, so which computes the, la the largest value in, uh, in an array. So we can use the whole column actually, uh, and we're going to compute the largest uh, value in column C and the first largest value. So actually the largest, and here it's gonna be the second largest, and in three, the third largest, okay? so. This gives us three random value, and now we just have to look up these values in uh, in this uh, in our original um, uh, table. So we're going to do with this with index match. Uh, so index in A, we're going to look for match. So. So we look in uh, in column A and we take the same position as uh, this value in column C. Uh, and we look this position exactly. Uh, and that's it. So, uh, yes, that's it. And we put the formula everywhere. So here it tells us 97.97, which is actually the largest number, and it's Lucas for number three. And here we can put the, I'm gonna put the same formula, uh, but instead we're going to put the case. Okay, same thing here. And we can put So here it's going to be random list, random sample, 
here. Yeah, so random. Uh, 0.92, which is actually, is it the biggest it is? And it's Anna for number nine. Okay, 0.86. It's Po for number 10. That's right. And 0.78. Yeah, it's Lucas for, ne for um, number seven. So that's uh, that's uh, that's basically how you can compute a random number. So you compute a random number for each uh, for each case, and then you take uh, the three bigger, the three largest uh, numbers. You can take the three uh, smallest numbers. It's uh, it's going to be, behave uh, the same, and this gives you three three. Uh, this gives you your random sample. Of course, you can extend and take any number of values you want. Um, so you can download the file right below. I hope it's gonna help you. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. See you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll get notified as soon as I publish. See you, ciao.